Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. Your iPad will be disabled and inaccessible if you have tried to enter the wrong password several times in a row. In this video, I will show you how to easily regain access to your iPad when it is disabled without risking data loss on your device. Let's go. To fix your disabled iPad, you can either use iTunes or the Finder to restore it. Keep in mind though that this method only works if you own the iPad and it is signed in with your Apple ID. Otherwise, your device will remain in activation lock and you will not be able to regain access to it. If you're running Windows, launch iTunes. I recommend downloading it from the Microsoft Store if you don't already have it installed on your PC. Mac users, on the other hand, can use the pre-installed Finder app to easily restore your iPad. After opening either of the two apps mentioned, connect your iPad to your computer. Make sure you use an original or MFI certified cable to ensure a good connection between the two devices. Then click Allow from your computer to confirm the connection. Once your iPad is connected, the next step is to put your device into recovery mode. By entering recovery mode, you can easily restore and reset your iPad to regain access to the device. There is a slight difference in the key combination used to put an iPad into recovery screen. For iPads with a home button, press and hold both the home button and the top or side button at the same time. Keep holding and release them once you see the recovery mode screen. If your iPad does not have a home button, press and release the volume buttons respectively. Then long press the top button until the recovery mode screen appears. After entering recovery mode, select your device from the iTunes or Finder dashboard and click Restore iPad. Confirm with Restore and Update and wait while the program resets your iPad. Note that after the reset, your data should be completely wiped so you can set it up like new. Don't worry if you have created a backup on your computer or iCloud account. Restoring your data should be easy enough after you have erased your iPad successfully. Keep in mind that sometimes restoring your device through iTunes or the Finder may be ineffective. If this happens, another alternative you can try is to use a third-party application. If using iTunes or Finder doesn't solve the problem on your device due to their limited features, I recommend the third-party software iMyPhone Lock Wiper. Lock Wiper is specifically designed to unlock and remove iPhone and iPad passcode, Face ID, Apple ID, MDM lock, and screen time password. The program is available for both Mac and Windows PC. For your reference, click on the tag in the upper right corner or find the link in the description box below. Select the appropriate version compatible with your computer's operating system and click free download to try it. Please note that the trial version can only be used to verify if your device is supported or not. Otherwise, a premium subscription is required. For full access, you can choose between a one-time payment or a recurring subscription that you can cancel anytime. After downloading, run the executable file and follow the on-screen instructions to install it on your computer. When the lock wiper dashboard loads, select the unlock screen passcode mode. If you're using iTunes, lock wiper may find your version inapplicable, so be sure to follow its prompt to repair the tool in order to proceed. After the repair, restart lock wiper and click unlock screen passcode again. Please note that all data on your device will be erased after the removal process is completed. Your iPad OS will also be updated to the latest version available. Next, connect your iPad to your computer using an original or MFI certified cable. To get started, follow the on-screen instructions to download the firmware package required by the software. Once the firmware has been successfully downloaded and extracted, you will need to put your iPad into recovery mode. By entering recovery mode, you can easily restore and reset your iPad to regain access to the device. There is a slight difference in the key combination used to put an iPad into recovery screen. For iPads with a home button, 
Press and hold both the home button and the top or side button at the same time. Keep holding and release them once you see the recovery mode screen. If your iPad does not have a home button, press and release the volume buttons respectively. Then long press the top button until the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPad is in recovery mode, click the unlock button and follow the on-screen instructions to confirm the screen lock removal process. Make sure your iPad remains connected to your computer and do not use it for a while to avoid interrupting the program while it is working. When the removal is done, your device should reboot automatically and the screen passcode should be completely removed. If it doesn't work the first time, repeat the process on lock wiper until the screen passcode is erased. Although the program is guaranteed to remove your device's screen passcode, it will still be in activation lock and inaccessible until you provide the Apple ID credentials originally registered with your iPad. If you can't remember your iCloud password or you're having other trouble with your device, try our YouTube search. There's probably a solution to any problem you're having. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.